Good morning. I think I'm the only one up in the house. I'm in Ireland. Everybody's got in very, very late, although I wasn't too late. And Nora's my friend and she's got up early. She's actually gone out for an early morning swim in the sea. But it does mean I can do you a rather quiet people free house tour. I don't have any shoes on actually, or socks. I might just open the door and show you what we can see outside. <laughs> Look, that's the outside view. Oh, it is cold. Ah, oh, my poor feet. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. But anyway, I can't wait to get out and have a little walk on and explore. I'm not going to do it right now. Right over there, we've got thatched houses. Well, the houses aren't thatched, but the roofs are thatched. Do you know what I mean? Look, I've just woken up. I'm going in. It's a bit warmer. So we come in and there are coat hooks. We have this little hallway. Here it is. It's very dark actually. I suppose I could have put the light on. And then we got the staircase here, which I've just come down. So I'm sleeping in that room there with my other half. And there's a little bathroom and a shower up there. I won't show you this room right now because my friend is sleeping in there. There's an ensuite bathroom in there as well, but she's gone for a swim. This is something she does a lot. It's a real passion of hers to go wild swimming. And moving on, this is the lounge area. Nice armchair, we've got heating, bookcase over there. A sofa, another armchair, a little coffee table, and a lovely fireplace, like a real one. Not being used at the moment. Another bookcase there by the door that we just came in through. And none of us have been in the conservatory yet, but there is one. Let's see. It's cold in here. Oh, yes, it's a bit chilly. Ooh, 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 I won't be in here for very long, but I'll show it to you. So we've got some wicker furniture here. There's another one there. Three sofas, yeah. I mean, not big enough for sleeping on, but they're certainly big enough for relaxing on. But what a lovely view out of the window, though. That's absolutely lush. Ooh, my poor feet. <laughs> they're getting cold. And next we have the kitchen. And the kitchen is beautifully light as well because the roof is see-through, so the light can come through. So we've got this great big enormous table, which is where we were sitting yesterday to eat pizza. It's a bit left, I'm half tempted to just eat that right now. Here we've got the cooker. <laughs> I think I showed you this yesterday, I'm, I'm starting to remember. I gave you a quick flash around. Washing machine now. We're only here for a couple of days, so we probably won't be using that. There's a kettle, teapot and a cafetiere. I brought some tea bags from home. Toaster, microwave, dishwasher, and a lot of cupboard space. And a fridge and a freezer. Oh, somebody's on the move. I can hear noise. I hear rustling and rumbling, somebody's getting up. I need to sort my vlog out, my vlogs out. I need to get my laptop down and do some charging of batteries and things like that because I was so tired when I got in last night. After our very early start and not sleeping the night before, I just sort of crashed out really and I didn't sort the vlog out in the night before going to bed. So I'm gonna do that now. Although I might be chatting to somebody. I'm not sure if they're just about to come down. Oh, I see feet, it's Natalie. I see Natalie's feet. <laughs> Good morning, Natalie. I've just been telling the vlog about your swimming. <sighs> Beautiful. Do you want to be in the vlog? I don't mind. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is Natalie. Oh, it was chilly in the sea. You've got a hot water beautiful. bottle. Oh. So why do you like going swimming in the sea in February? Because oh, it makes you feel amazing. <laughs> look how happy my face is. You do look very happy. It's true, yeah. Is the kettle on? No, no. Oh, I quickly was filming Shall before anyone came in. Yeah, that's I'll stuff. put the kettle on. You can keep doing your thing. <laughs> And I'll get the kettle on. Oh, thank you. I'm standing on our bed now. It's two hours later. We've had a lovely time. I've been nattering to Natalie. We've had some breakfast. And I'm just looking out of the bedroom window because I've opened it because I'm going to have a shower now. But I thought, well, nobody can see it. And so I'll do this. And look, you can see the thatched roof here. A bit of it. There's loads of thatched roofs. So I'm going to have a little shower now and then we're going to have a walk. IB and I and our friend Paul are going to have a walk together and uh, then reconvene in a few hours and Natalie's going to make us eggy bread. It's the polar opposite of the travel lodge here for power supplies. Look, it's two there by that bed. Uh, there's loads here, loads and loads of power points. You've got six there. That's absolutely brilliant. And there's the USB ones for phones. Really forward thinking to get myself showered and made all lovely and presentable for the day. I've made it out. It's amazing how a shower makes you feel suddenly so much more human. So I'm just over the road, right in front of the cottage that we're staying in, and this is the view that we have. But we're actually just popping in the car because apparently, according to our friend here, there's a walk that we can do. It's just a little car ride away. I have no idea where we're going here. We're on the road to Liston Varna. 
Lovely, yeah. I've just been told. And uh, we're going to have a big long walk on a spit. Well, maybe not a long walk, walk, actually. No, it's going to be quite short because it's a spit. Look at that ground. It's like rocky. I'm really fascinated by that. I can't wait to actually get onto it on my feet and have a close look at it. I've noticed a lot of dry stone walls since we've been driving around. But it's not like the dry stone wall in Wales because there's gaps in it. You can see light coming through it. So it's most intriguing. I want to have a close look at some of that too. But I haven't yet. We stopped when we're quite close to a thingy. Let's see if I can get out. Yes, I can get out. Plenty of room. Oh, another walk in style. Look at this, it looks quite a... <laughs> Paul's just said he's happy to be in the vlog. Well, he didn't phrase it quite like that. He said he didn't mind, so I'm very excited. And he's our tour guide, aren't you? I just wanted to take a little pause in this walk and show you the landscape. Look how rocky it is. Well, that's the track that we've just walked down to get from the road where the car is down to where we are now. And I must say, it's very pooey. <laughs> a lot of turds, various animals. And I was thinking most of it must be horse, but then I realised we're walking through this mud and there were no horse prints, you know, horseshoe prints in there at all. But then I noticed there were sort of big cloven hoof prints. So I think it's cows, mostly. Oh, it's everywhere and here as well. I'm going to have to look where I'm going. Even there, look, dried up. I won't film anything too gross looking because I expect you're eating or something, having a snack, biscuit and a coffee or something or some lunch. But anyway, look, we've got a little bit of sand. We're the only ones here. Just us. It's a very bouldery walk. Look, real assortment of sizes of these rounded boulders. Over there we've got the sea, which you can't see from here. And on the opposite side, we've got a load of mud because the tide is presumably out. Natalie was saying uh, yesterday to me actually that the tide is very important for if you're taking up wild swimming. You can't just go willy-nilly not knowing what you're doing. It's really important that you know what the tide is doing. Apparently, I'm not an expert, but she was telling me. I mean, you can get caught in sort of currents and be swept out. So you've really got to do research before you start. Don't just um, go, oh, that's a good idea and dive in. <laughs> Wow, look at this exciting terrain here. Ever so stimulating, I find, doing this kind of walking. Because you've got to just think about every single step you take. And so it just gets your brain going, all fired up, you know. I love that. Oh, we've got a load of seaweed now. It gets seaweedier as well. <laughs> I don't want to slip, particularly. But look, I've got this whole expanse to get through. I'm just going to have to go through it, aren't I? Well, the boys have done it. They just seem to be relatively unscathed. Whoa. Whoa. No, no, no. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be solid because they just went through, you know. They didn't give it a second thought. We spotted a fossil. Paul says he thinks they are crinoids, did you say? Yeah, crinoids. Crinoids. Ooh, very spotty and liney. Yes. Let's have a look. Looking at a cross section through them, and then this is a, like a vertical cross section. We're in that type of sand now, you know, the stuff that you do really deep footprints with, and you go thump, thump, thump. <laughs> I feel inclined to sort of go near the rocks just in case because I don't quite know where I'm walking. Oh, I hope quicksand isn't here. I think I just found a sea urchin. Yeah, I'm going to show it to Paul. I've got a feeling he's going to have some knowledge to impart on the sea urchin. And he might even say, oh, that's not a sea urchin, it's something else. But I think it is. It's quite hard to catch up quickly on this sinky sand. <laughs> oh, there's a big shell there, look. I am gaining on them. There's another one of those spotty dotty things down there, look. Ooh. Got a question for you, Paul. Is that a sea urchin? Yes. It's not fossilised though, is it? Is it just no, like that's no, its skeleton? A, it's a re relatively fresh one, that. I was wondering if it was like full of bacteria and mankiness. So you're going with the paw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, these are deadly once you've touched them, that. <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just had a bit of a shock. This has got a bit silly. I think if I go where the seaweed is, it might be less sinky because I'm thinking there might be like a, a network of roots under there. Uh, oh my gosh, one's going right in. I, I'm a bit scared. Oh, sinking sand is a thing, and then they're going off into the distance and they're not. <laughs> I know it's gone a bit firmer now. I should know really because look, their footprints have gone shallower. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, Imo. Common sense, Imo. 
Look for the clues! <laughs> We've reached the end of the spit, there's not much more, so we're gonna head back a long length of it. It was quite long actually, I was like kind of thinking I was silly to say we were having a long walk on a spit. But no, actually it was quite long, I don't know how long. Longer for, you know, stepping carefully and always looking where we're going, because you know, you've got to really. We've come down off the main pathy bit onto this sort of like a natural paving. So it should be a lot easier underfoot. IP went whoa and did a skid just now and said, mind the wet bits. Okay, note taken. Kind of messed up slightly because we're supposed to be in by 12.30 slash one o'clock for eggy bread from Natalie. She's gonna make us all eggy bread. Like, excuse me for not looking into the lens. I need to look where I'm putting my feet. But um, I just looked at my phone to see what the time was and it was 12.57 so I've messaged her and she said, oh, that's all right, no rush. She's having a bit of a nap because she went to bed quite late and got up early for a swim. So she's catching up on a bit of sleep right now. It's lovely terrain. I love walking through things like this. I've just been to the spa. I popped in. It's well stocked actually so I brought that for the eggy bread kettles on for a lovely cup of tea I do believe what's happening next is my boyfriend's gonna have a shower and Natalie says she's gonna potter around in the kitchen and make bits of food aren't you oh, yes. he is the saviour she's being mum <laughs> and I'm gonna potter around with my vlog a bit on my laptop oh. they've made me a lovely cup of coffee it's gone really kind of smoky in here from the cooking a bit of ventilation been made some eggy bread there are mushrooms and there's bacon for the bacon munchers yeah, let's see how the, the chef is getting on choking on the smoke in the kitchen <laughs> it smells amazing tuck in i will it's just coming up to 3 p.m now we had a lovely lunch together had lots of lovely chats we've cleaned the kitchen put the dishwasher on wiped all the surfaces down i'm gonna sit and do a bit of work on the vlog for a couple of hours while everybody goes and makes a start playing in the afternoon session in the pub and i'm gonna go and join them after a while i will carry today into the next vlog i think because i know i've already filmed quite a lot for this one but thank you so much for watching it please give the video a like if you happen to like it subscribe down below and hit the notification bell if you'd like to watch more videos from me and i'll see you in the next video bye